Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I've got for you my December faves. Oh my god, has the year gone by so quickly. December has been completely insane. Um, so busy. I mean, now I'm, I'm not talking about the holiday season. I'm talking before that. <laughs> just, just completely crazy. And the month has gone by really fast. And I actually didn't do a lot of different things makeup wise um, because I was on the go so much um, but I do have a few items that I'd like to mention to you today and we'll get right into it. So the first thing I want to talk about and this is something I've talked about many times on my blog uh, ever since I found them in 2014 I think yeah two years ago or three years ago I don't remember exactly um, at Costco so they are and this is that's one tin, two tin. This is the La Chatelaine hand creams. So they sent me these two kits here. So this is a kit of hand cream and this is a soap that I'd like to talk about. So this is not sponsored by them, but they did send me these two products. Um, but I do own a ton of the hand creams, a ton. And I go through them so quickly because I absolutely adore them. It's not, you know, if you've watched me before that I'm not saying this because they sent me this. I'm saying this because I absolutely adore their hand creams. They are my favorite. I featured them for the last two years on the blog and it's just the best hand cream. So let me just talk to you about what they are first. So, and to answer a couple questions because I have received a few questions about where they are available and so we'll talk about all of that first. Okay, so I'm just gonna open up the tin. First of all, they come in these tins um, if you get a kit. I found, when I first found them, they came into a big tin at Costco where there was 12 different hand creams in them of, of all different scents and I fell in love with the cream. The cream is uh, non-greasy, um, the scents are really nice and they're nice and compact so I have one of these everywhere in my house. I have one in my purse, I have one in the living room, I have one in my kitchen, I have one in my bathroom, I have two here behind me on the computer desk. Um, when I was at work before my mat leave, I had one at work. <laughs> I have them everywhere. So here's what they look like. So they're little tubes, they kind of, they come out, oops they're upside down. Here you go. <laughs> so these three scents that are included in this kit is Citrus Fizz, which is my all-time favorite. Like, if I could, I would just get like a huge tub of this one. <laughs> this one is my favorite. Um, uh, Leche Berry, which is also really, really nice. I really like that one too. And Lavender. So this kit is super cute. The tin is reusable because you can take out this insert and reuse the tin. I have reused both tins from the Costco sets that I got they're being used for other stuff absolutely the tins are amazing um, and they are um, I think they were the kits were $25 or so at Costco now this year they were hard to find I haven't found them at Costco yet so that's actually what prompted me to contact them and they ended up sending me this after you know back and forth whatever so I just want to tell you a little bit about the creams because I think it's important so the company is called La Chatelaine so they're a company from France and they are a, a um, what's, I don't know what the word it is in English, a sub-company of the company called Ton Savant, which is French for your soap. Um, and so they do these, they do these soaps that I'll show you. They do these soaps that I'll show you in a second. Um, but they also do these hand creams. So they are 20% shea butter. They are cruelty-free, paraben-free, BHT-free, sulfate-free, whole bunch of all that. No parabens. They are also made with uh, argan oil and vitamin E, so they're very, very hydrating on the hands, and they're non-greasy, which is the most important things. Important thing for me. I don't. I use hand cream all the time because my hands are pretty dry, and if I have something that's if I have a formula that's greasy, then I touch something and it just leaves spots behind and I don't I don't like that. So these do not do that at all. So these th three scents, such as Fizz, Leche Berry, and Lavender. Um, I'll show you some couple other ones that I also have. As you can see, I have quite a few of them and I've, I know I have some of my product empties coming up and I've also had some in our product 
empty is that Rory featured. So you've got here um, cherry almond. This one smells really nice. There's orange blossom. Another Lee J Berry that's half used. Um, there's a pomegranate mulberry. This is citrus that's also half used. Um, cinnamon orange. Got coconut milk. Amber cashmere. And this is a passion fruit. They also have a rose scent. They have, well, they have a whole bunch of different scents. Now, as far as the availability of these creams, which I've gotten a lot of questions on because I'm like, oh, I saw your review and they don't have them at Costco. They didn't have them at Costco this year, unfortunately. Um, so I did contact them and the company is actually working on getting stuff to Canada um, easier for us to get. But if you are in the US, they are now on Amazon.com and they sell each tube and they sell these tins as well. Um, I think the tins are $12.99, I'm not sure, I don't remember, but I know the creams are $8.99 and recently they were on sale for $6.99 each. Now, I would like stock up. <laughs> if this was on Amazon, let's see, I'd be like, click, 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 stocking up. Um, they make great gifts, the tin is reusable, and I highly rec recommend them. They are just such nice hand creams. And actually, if you saw on the blog um, for, I think, November favorites, Sheena also uh, featured them on uh, the blog because, well, she also fell in love with the hand creams. <laughs> anyway, so that's all about the hand creams. Now, what they're trying to do right now is trying to get some kits for their soaps over at Costco. So that's kind of in the works right now. You can also go on their website, tonsavon.com. I'll link the low, uh, I'll link it down below so you guys know. I mean, they do ship to Canada. However, the shipping is pretty expensive. But if you're willing to pay the shipping and that's not something that bothers you, then you can also pick up some stuff um, there as well on the website. So this is the little soaps. So they come in a mini tin that is also reusable, which is absolutely great. So the soap comes in like this in a little plastic. Um, I haven't used it yet because I knew that if I waited to use it, I would probably not get this video out at all. <laughs> so, but oh my god, does it smell good. And there's a little tan, reusable. Oh, it smells so good. This one is in Shea. It smells amazing. And it is made with 100% pure vegetable shea, shea butter. Like, it's amazing. <coughs> I made my mom smell it too, and she's like, oh my god, this is amazing smelling. So, I could just tell it will be hydrating. I will definitely be using this in my bath and maybe I'll update you in a future video to let you know how I enjoyed these soaps. The next thing I would like to talk about is these Quo cotton pads. So I actually ripped off the top that says Quo. <laughs> anyway, so these cotton pads, you're like, ooh, cotton pads, fun. They're actually, they're super soft. They have two sides to them and they're really, really soft. And I was using some other ones and they would just, from Costco, like like a big bin, and they would just like come apart and they would separate. I didn't like them. And then I picked these up. So these are available at Shoppers Drug Mart and they're actually they're pretty inexpensive. And you can often get, if you have the coupons for their Optimum Shoppers um, points, um, and you have their app, You I often get coupons for like 2,000 points if you pick up two of these, etc. So, and I use them all the time, so I pick them up when I get extra points, and it builds up really quick. And I really like, they, they're soft on my skin, they remove my makeup really well. I use it with, uh, like, Bioderma, Micellar Water, and they're really great for that. So, um, don't need to pay a lot of money for Compaz for to be nice and soft on your skin. These will do the job perfectly. So this month I've um, been using a lot my Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum Foundation. I have the color 51 Light Vanilla. So I really, really enjoyed this foundation because it's really quick and easy to apply. It's got a light to medium finish and you can build it up a little bit more in the areas that you need it. Like I need it more on my cheeks so I, I can build it up. I find this so easy to wear. Um, it doesn't dry out my skin. It doesn't show dry patches. I really, really enjoy this and it's just so, I don't know, I find it just so simple, it's just so easy, it glides on, and I really, really have been enjoying this, and I got this a long time ago, and I just kind of picked it back up in my stash, and I'm really glad I did, because I really fell in love with it.
My next item is a NARS Audacious Lipstick. It is in the color Barbara. It's nude, obviously not what I'm wearing today, <laughs> but it is a, a nude. It's more on the brownish side, and oh my god, so, these are so pigmented. They're insane pigmented on one swipe. I think these have to be one of my favorite formulas ever. They used to be the Bite Luminous Cram Lipsticks, but you changed the formula and unfortunately I can't use them anymore because I've got ingredients that I'm allergic to. So this has taken the spot for number one. <laughs> so it's just a nice nude. I've been into the brownie nudes ever since November. If you saw my November favorites, you know. <laughs> um, but I have pulled this out of my collection. At first I thought it was going to be too light. Um, no, it's just amazing, and if I also like it if I do like a bolder eye, I'll I'll put this on, and it just kind of balances ba balances out the look to make it look a bit more everyday. So this is a really really great nude if you're looking for one. That I right recommend this one. Then I have this Benefit Erase Paste. So I got this a while ago, and I'm like, I don't really need it. I don't have dark circles under my eyes, so I didn't really. I didn't really use it much until recently since I've become a mom I'm more tired and I find that I do have some dark circles going on here and my under eye needs brightening so I pulled this out and I'm so glad I have now if I have a chance before I put this up I'll try to take like a before and after picture hopefully I have a chance to do that um, so that you can see the difference and it really makes a difference it just brightens up and it, it, it camouflages most of my dark circles and it just makes a huge difference. I look less tired, um, which right now is definitely needed. So this is definitely a good one. And I only need just a tiny bit. It's like a kind of a salmon kind of color cream. Like this is not blended obviously, um, but it just kind of brightens and it neutralizes the, the darkness under the eyes. And I just like dab a little bit on my finger and it does both my under eyes. So this will last me quite a long time. In this cream so if you have dark circles that you're trying to camouflage and brighten up this area this definitely will help next I have a candle oh I love this candle okay this is spice gingerbread from Bath and Body Works so this is a new one the I bought a couple and the other one is actually burning downstairs right now, so uh, I didn't want to bring one that was melted hot wax. <laughs> anyway, so I grabbed a new one and I really, really enjoyed the smell. They used to have one. Oh, hold on. I'll grab it. They had one a few years back. I think it was two years ago. This one here, pumpkin gingerbread. And I've been holding on to this one because I didn't want to burn it because I'm like, no, I need to find something that's comparable to the smell um, before I burn it. And when they brought this back this year, this one is spiced gingerbread, this one is pumpkin gingerbread. They're almost identical, if not identical. I'm not exactly sure if there's different notes that are different. But I absolutely adore this. It's nice and sweet, but not sickly sweet, because I don't like it when they're too sweet. Because it's like spiced a little bit, it doesn't have like that sickly sweet. Like there's some, oh, that are just too much sweetness. And you burn them in your house for like five minutes, and like, okay, I'm done. It's too much. This is just the perfect amount of sweetness and it's not too strong while not being too mild. You know what I mean? Like it's in between. <laughs> uh, and I really enjoyed the packaging this year of the Bath and Body Works candles for their holiday. They're frosted and their their tops have little Christmas trees. Super cute. I'll show you another one, which I really also really like. So here's another one here. See like the frosted blue and this is called snowflakes and citrus. Oh, amazing. Anyway, you see the Christmas tree a little bit here on the top. And they also have, um, this is another one of my favorites, top smells that I always get every year. Fresh sparkling snow. Um, this one's not frosted but it has a nice kind of like snowflake on top. So I just wanted to show you the different, because I think they're super cute. I always stock up. <laughs> December favorites is this Deva Curl Beautiful Mess Curl Sculpting Pomade. So this is what it is here. I got this thinking I'm not 
I'm not quite sure if it's gonna work or not. So with one thing that's really cool about their products is that they, and when you shop online, they have the same thing on Sephora. It says, how do I use it? And it also has, what is it and is it for me? So you could say, oh, this product does X, Y, Z. So yes, that's for me and you can purchase it. Or you can say, nope, that's not the right one. And you move on to the next product. So this one is, how do I use? So start by rubbing a pea-sized amount between hands or fingertips, then play. Apply to the roots for volume and then make your way from the mid length of the hair to the end to create a tussled look. Shake at the root with your hands to rough it up until the desired effect is achieved. So the why, why I use this for most of the time is um, to add volume to my hair. So just like they say, I add a little bit on my fingertips and I go into my roots and like volume. Poof! It actually does work. I was really impressed. I did not expect it to do much because I have a lot of problems with my hair um, keeping its volume. So I really wasn't expecting much, but this actually works. Um, so I was really, really impressed. And it is also cruelty free, which is a bonus. And here's what it looks like. It's just kind of a jelly kind of pomade. I haven't used much. I don't need much. So I think this is going to last me a long time, which is great. It doesn't smell, it smells like jelly, it doesn't smell anything special, but the thing that's funny, it's this. I don't know if you can hear that. It has like a bouncy sound, it's kind of funny. <laughs> so that's it for my favorites this month, guys. I hope you really enjoyed. I will leave the information I can down below for you guys. And please like and subscribe and come back for more, and I'll talk to you later.